Hey guys, Sean with Long Long Honeymoon here. Today, I'm going to give you my top 21 truck upgrades. Now at first glance, this looks like a humble, ordinary 2007 Ford F-250. But no, my friends, this truck has seen many major upgrades over the years. And in this video, I'm gonna run through an exhaustive list of changes, modifications, and upgrades that we have made to our truck. Let me just tell you, when Elon Musk sees this video, he's going to scrap the plans for Cybertruck and start fresh, probably incorporating a lot of these upgrades. Oh my God. Now this truck was built by Ford Motor Company and somebody at Ford Motor Company had the brilliant idea of outsourcing the motor design. So the motor in my Ford Motor Company truck was actually designed by a company called International. Unfortunately, the International designed engine had a few slight design problems. You've probably seen the video we've done about the bulletproofing of this truck. Now, I'm going to count the bulletproofing of the truck as at least four different modifications out of the 21 because we have a new air to liquid oil cooler, a new EGR cooler, a new water pump, and a new FICM. Not FICM, FICM. All the bulletproof diesel products have worked well we had a problem with the head that was installed at Bulletproof Diesel. It was a significant problem. They stood behind their work, they fixed the issues, but more on that in a future video. Other major upgrade we made under the hood had to do with the alternator. We upgraded our alternator to a 370 amp Mechman alternator. This alternator simply puts out a lot more electricity, which goes back to our trailer when we're towing down the highway and recharges our lithium ion batteries in our trailer for our full solar package. So those are the major upgrades under the hood. But while we're up here, I wanna point out that we actually put a new front grill on Seymour. The original front grill of the truck was just showing its age. The Ford Motor Company logo had faded, really looked dated, so we replaced this and made it better. How about these tow mirrors? Now we had the original jelly bean style tow mirrors replaced with this updated tow mirror design. The big deal about these tow mirrors is not just the appearance. I mean, yeah, they updated the styling, but the big upgrade has to do with the spherical mirror, this lower spherical mirror. It's much larger with, with much more surface area than was in that original rounded jelly bean design. When we switched to these, it was really a wow improvement. I think your side mirrors are your best friend, really for anybody that's towing, but it really gave me more confidence having bigger tow mirrors because I could see so much more of what was going on around us. Blinker fluid. I switched to Willy brand synthetic blinker fluid. This is good for up to 10,000 blinks. And you can see I'm a little bit low on blinker fluid right now because I'm not getting a full blink on my turn signal here. POW 2020 maximum strength blinker fluid. Only use the best, use Willy brand. Bedliner, uh, our truck did not really come equipped with a spray-in permanent bedliner when we bought it. Uh, we did have a plastic bed liner that we used for years, but at one point we finally took out the plastic bed liner and had this spray-in permanent bed liner installed. I really like this spray-in bed liner, and I would be happy to tell you the brand of the spray-in bed liner, but I wanted to film the whole process, and I asked them when we were spraying in the bed liner, can I share this bed liner with my audience and tell them about it? And the company said no. So, fick them. Above the bed, we have a Retrax uh, tonneau cover, which I have dubbed the king of covers. 
This Retrax cover is fantastic. It's solid metal. It retracts up against the cab of the truck and uh, does a pretty good job of keeping the weather out and keeping the contents of the truck safe and protected from the elements and certainly protected from prying eyes because it's lockable. You know, and I love that feature. And it has what I believe they call a T-slot. Or is it a Y-slot? It's a T-slot. And with this T-slot, you can install all sorts of different types of storage solutions on top of your tonneau cover. We have Yakima bars and a Thule storage unit. Overall, I really love having the Thule because I put all the RV clutter inside the Thule. It's a good, not only a good size, it's a good location. I can just step out of the truck, pop this thing open, and everything is easily accessible. I don't have to dig around inside the bed of the truck. I think our Thule box has been a phenomenal upgrade just because when we back into a campsite and we need chocks or we need levelers and I'm the person out there that's grabbing them, it's so much easier for me to come here and open this and grab them out to go put down for Sean to back over rather before having to drop the tailgate, dig around back there to find them, even if they're close to the, the end of the, the bed, it's still more of a process. This, they're sort of right here at eye level. I can just grab them and go, it's not a problem. The other great feature I like about this is you can't remove the key until this is locked in place. Trucks don't work so well without tires. And we switched at one point from Continental tires to these Michelin LTX tires. I haven't tried every tire brand on the market, but these tires I believe are fantastic. And we have had no issues whatsoever once we switched to these Michelin tires. Another upgrade that you can barely see, uh, we upgraded our suspension in our truck to Bierstein shocks and struts. Bierstein. It's one of those upgrades that you make and the first week after you make the upgrade, you're like, ah, oh, this is nice. The truck is just riding and handling so much better. Then you kind of get used to it, but uh, the upgrade is good for the lifetime pretty much of the truck because they're just really well-built shocks and struts. Bierstein. Another minor upgrade we've made back here is this tire minder tire pressure monitoring system. Our truck didn't come equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. I've talked about the tire minder system before. I don't love it, but I like it. And it is nice to be able to check your tire pressures from inside the cab of the truck. An upgrade that I'd like to show you inside the bed of the truck is LED lighting. Uh, don't pay any attention to my horrible wiring job but I did add some LED lights that light the interior of the bed of the truck and this can be really helpful when you are attempting to fish out errant RV supplies like your trusty rubber mallet. This is really cheap. I mean, I bought these on Amazon for 50 bucks. The hardest part is wiring them up. One other critical upgrade that we made to the rear of the truck is this little guy right here, a rear vision camera or backup camera which automatically comes on anytime we've got the truck in reverse. We can also switch to it, like if we're towing down the highway and we want to view the Airstream with this camera, we can do so. Another upgrade we made in various parts of the truck is adding LED lighting that just uses less electricity, runs cooler, they're brighter, and they last for up to 20 years, anywhere between two weeks and 20 years. You know, they promise 20 years and then three weeks later you find yourself changing an LED light bulb. So I don't know about that. For example, this one's already dead. I thought it was gonna last 20 years. You know, a lot of guys like to use different fuel additives. And so I'm going to count this as a truck modification or upgrade. I use this Archoil AR6200 fuel treatment. This goes in with the diesel. Now, unfortunately, we don't have DEF or diesel exhaust fluid in this truck. I really hate that I'm not forced to buy DEF on a regular basis. But I do add this AR6200 and I also 
use this AR9100 friction modifier, put it in with the oil. A lot of these oil additives, uh, they're kind of like taking vitamins, you know, like we all take different vitamins and supplements. Do they work? I don't know. I, I think they work. You have to sort of judge and see how uh, your truck and or body performs after you put in the vitamins or supplements or friction modifier. <laughs> Several years ago, we were having problems with stiction in our truck. And if you own a Ford diesel pickup truck, you should learn the term stiction. Stiction is a very important word. <laughs> if you go in and you read reviews of this stuff, you will see a lot of other people have had the same experience. That this has helped. Uh. Welcome to the lush, well-appointed interior cabin of our tow vehicle, Seymour. Around me, you'll see we are bathed in lariat luxury here. Leather seats, faux wood paneling. Are our seats even leather or are they like... This is leather? rich Corinthian leather. Corinthian leather? Of course, why not the best? I think they're leather. I think the seats are leather. And the rest of the truck is made of plastic, unfortunately. <laughs> but we've actually made some pretty critical upgrades inside the cabin. First and foremost, this Pioneer Entertainment Center. We pulled out the original vinyl LP record player that Seymour came equipped with and switched over to this unit. It integrates with either Apple or Android. May I speak frankly, Bluetooth sucks. We all know Bluetooth sucks. I hate Bluetooth but sometimes you gotta have it. So this Bluetooth works pretty well. It ain't perfect, but I don't think any Bluetooth is perfect. But to me, the best feature that it added was our hands-free cell phone. So there is a tiny little microphone right here that's clipped to the interior of our truck, and you can turn this microphone in whichever direction of the person speaking, and it's really great to me because there are several states where you cannot be on the phone while you're driving, even if you, you know, aren't holding it up to your ear, it has to be hands-free. So this has been a great upgrade for us. I know in new trucks it's probably standard, but if you've got an older one and you want to add it, it's a good one to do. We do have a uh, built-in rear camera here. And so you can always switch to your camera view if you want. We chose not to add navigation with our system, uh, but for a little bit of extra money, we could have. We did not add the navigation here because we instead used the Garmin RV890 GPS, which I've done an entire video about. But this is our navigation unit that we use whenever we're traveling with our Airstream. And overall, our experience with that Garmin unit has been pretty good. It's not perfect, but it hasn't navigated us over a cliff yet. Another important upgrade that we made to the interior is this little device. It's called a Scan Gauge 2, and this monitors uh, several different critical engine functions and keeps statistics for you. You can always check, for example, your engine oil temperature and also your transmission fluid temperature and your battery voltage. So it's really helpful, especially when you're towing. If you're towing through a mountainous region and you want to check in and see how hot that engine oil is getting with Scan Gauge 2, you can do so. Another critical upgrade for you folks who like to travel long distances is this. This is a little lumbar support. I think I paid about 10 bucks for this back in 2007 when we first started RV traveling because we were traveling long distances towing our trailer around the country. I was developing a backache. <laughs> And this stupid little piece of foam has actually saved my back on many a journey. I mean, I might replace it every few years, but it really does help. Uh, another wonderful upgrade, trash bag. This trash bag was one of the first things I bought for the truck after buying this truck. And we're still using the same trash bag. This is one of the most well-traveled trash bags in the world. 
this trash bag and I have been through a lot together. So that's a quick look at the interior of the vehicle. So that's it guys, a look at at least 21 critical upgrades that we made to our truck Seymour. Oh, did I mention Seymour got a new windshield last year? I mean, that's not the most exciting of upgrades, but Seymour's windshield was cracked and he needed a new one. And I have to say, I've really appreciated having the clean, clear glass since that switch. What about the future? What else can we do to our truck? Well, you know that we recently got our Airstream ceramic coated out at Vinny's North Bay Airstream repair. After having the ceramic on our Airstream, I really wish we had ceramic coating on our truck because it just looks so nice and it makes the vehicle so much more easy to clean. So in the future, I think we'll look into getting our truck ceramic coated. Not too many people are probably ceramic coating a 14 year old for or diesel truck, but I would really like to do so, so we might do so. But otherwise, we really hope that we can get another season of travel out of Seymour, because Elon is still working on the Cybertruck over in Texas. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. What about you? If you have a truck or tow vehicle, what kind of upgrades have you made to your vehicle that you found really helpful over the years? You know, some of these upgrades were super cheap. Some of them obviously were very expensive. They have all made a significant difference in the overall performance and enjoyability of the vehicle. So I'd love to hear from you guys about what you've done to your trucks in terms of upgrades, because we might keep on upgrading this old beast. Until next time, thanks for tuning in. This has been Long Long Honeymoon. I'm Sean. You are whoever you are here. What do we say on Long Long Honeymoon? We say, lo lo ho. See you next time, guys. Thanks. I want to point out a critical upgrade right here. Everyone needs one of these on their truck or RV. It's a Loloho Nation sticker. We're working on a new and improved design that will probably end up looking exactly the same as the old design and will be available in major retail stores everywhere soon. Everybody needs a low, low ho sticker. We'll bleep that. <laughs> so, I am ashamed of how bald these tires are looking. <laughs> you should be. But I'm not worried. I'm not worried that the tire is going to fall apart. My wife is looking a little bit worried. So, we'll. Worried we'll it's gonna fall apart. But anyway, so this goes in with the gasoline. I also use the diesel. The diesel. Sorry, did I say gasoline? No, you don't put gasoline in your diesel truck. Nobody likes stiction, do they? <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> uh, it's LED and filament compatible. What's so funny? <laughs> this truck was a wonderful way to blend my passion for international travel with towing an Airstream around the country. Unfortunately, a huge class action lawsuit and billions of dollars in damages. Q. Carl Sagan saying billions and billions and billions. Billions, billions, trillions, trillion, million, 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 million. Tow vehicle. Hey guys, if you want to check out a really fun adventure travel video I invite you to visit the Shawn Michaels Simulation Channel and my latest film about magical Myanmar, also known as Burma. If you like adventure travel videos, then I think you're going to love this one. It's one of my all-time personal favorites. Thanks and see ya!